early in his ministry, Jesus had looked at the faces of the eager crowd gathered around him. And those people were so much like us in their experience of life. They were weary. They too had been betrayed. They carried painful wounds. They were at least as insecure as we are. And they knew that they would someday die. Jesus had great godly compassion on them because he loved them. He had come to them in their distress with the good news of the kingdom of God. Yeah. And so he encouraged them. He gave them courage. He gave them hope. He gave them himself. And he gave to them this wonderful invitation. Are you tired? Worn out? Burned out on religion? Yeah. Come to me. Get away with me and you'll recover your life. I'll show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me. Work with me. Watch how I do it. Yeah. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. He said, I won't lay anything heavy or real fitting on you. Keep company with me and you'll le live, learn to live freely and lightly. Yes, and today we have kept company with Jesus on his journey to the cross so that we might grow to love him more dearly and learn from him more clearly how we might follow in his footsteps on our own journeys through life. So inspired and empowered by his courageous surrender to love that we will risk our own surrender to God's love. And perhaps get to feel the surprise that rather than falling in that surrender, we will float, we will float into God's hands of love. Experience for ourselves what it truly means to live freely and lightly, no matter what the circumstances may be that we find ourselves in. Indeed. See, there's freedom in that choice to let go, to let what needs to die, die, so that what, what God desires to live might live. And it does require courage. Like the courage displayed by the few friends of Jesus who did not run away but stood with him as he died. And like the courage shown by Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, two Pharisees who were members of the Sanhedrin who had condemned Jesus, and yet in the end, they refused to go along with them. They risked asking Pilate for Jesus' body. And then they went and publicly took it down from the cross and buried him themselves. These two Pharisees who had secretly chosen the narrow way, who had opened their hearts to the love of God, declared their faith through their actions. They declared in front of everyone that they were followers of Jesus and they were willing to die for him if necessary as he had died for them. See, this kind of courage, this kind of surrender, like Tony just said, it's beyond our normal human abilities. This is a gift of grace from God for those who will risk trusting in Christ like that, who will let go, open their hands, and receive what only God can give. And with that comes a freedom that only those who have lived it can ever describe. Jesus told Nicodemus privately one night that God's spirit is free like the wind, blowing wherever God pleases. You hear its sound, Jesus said, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it's going. So it is with everyone born of the spirit. The wind of the Spirit is still blowing freely in our sad, fearful, broken world. Yes. On this day, this very good Friday, may all who are born of the Spirit move with the Spirit and in the Spirit and be emboldened by the Spirit's courage to embody the kind of freedom, the kind of faith, hope, and love that this world is desperately longing to see 
so that they too might believe and surrender into God's redeeming love in Christ Jesus. And all of this is true and good. It's gospel. It's yeah. wonderful. But we need to trust it and participate in it. Which is why we ask you these questions uh, repeatedly throughout this service. So the last one, how do you see God offering you courage today? Where is God showing up for you and giving you that gift that we all need? And how do you see God inviting you to surrender to his love as Jesus did? And how will you respond? Don't just click through the next slide. Don't just go to the next song without thinking about that. How is God inviting you to respond? And you may wish to just pause the recording right here and just be with, be with him, the crucified one who loved you literally to death. Just if you wish to pause and just take some final moments before we close in prayer, please do that now. And then come back and we'll pray the final closing prayer together. Let's pray. Courageous suffering savior, your passion and death, your surrender in and to love is the sacrifice that unites earth and heaven and opens the door to eternal life for the whole world. May we who have prayerfully reflected on these mysteries today, follow in your steps and live out your example so that the whole world may come to surrender and share your glory on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. 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 And may today be truly a good Friday for you, dear Hosanna friends.